For decades, the cutting edge of long-range air defense belonged to a small club of nations, the United States with its Patriot Pac-3 and THAAD systems, Russia with its S-300 and S-400 families, and a few others. Turkey was never counted among them, yet in the past decade, Ankara has rewritten the rules. Today, its latest masterpiece, the Seeper Block III Long Range Air Defense System, has achieved a range of 500 kilometers, surpassing even Russia's S-400 Triumph. This is not just a technological milestone, it is a symbol of a transformed defense industry, one that has evolved from heavy dependence on foreign suppliers to a globally competitive powerhouse. The Seeper Block III combines state-of-the-art radar, advanced guidance, and powerful propulsion into a system that is shaking up military balance in the Eastern Mediterranean, the Middle East, and beyond. In this deep dive, we'll explore how Turkey achieved this feat, what makes Seeper Block III unique, and why it's causing unease in Western defense circles. From dependency to self-reliance, a defense revolution. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, Turkey's air defense relied almost entirely on imported systems from NATO partners. This left Ankara exposed to the political leverage of supplier nations. When relations with Western allies became strained, particularly after military operations in Syria and political disputes with Washington and Brussels, Turkey faced embargoes and delays in critical defense imports. In response, Turkey adopted a bold strategy build everything at home. This effort began in earnest in the early 2000s when the government increased defense R&D funding and promoted partnerships between state institutions and private defense giants such as Aselsan, Rocketsan, and Tubatak Saj. The goal was clear, achieve defense autonomy by mastering indigenous production of radars, missiles, guidance systems, and command and control software. The SEPR project, launched as a joint venture between these entities, became the pinnacle of this policy, aiming to give Turkey a domestically produced long-range missile shield, surpassing the S-400, a technical leap. The Russian S-400 has long been admired for its ability to intercept targets at ranges up to 400 kilometers. However, the Seeper Block III extends that reach to 500 kilometers, allowing it to detect and destroy threats before they come anywhere near Turkish territory. This range advantage is not just a number, it changes the entire defensive strategy. A missile launched from Seeper can engage hostile bombers, stealth aircraft, cruise missiles, or even certain ballistic missiles while they are still deep within an adversary's airspace. This creates a deterrence bubble that discourages hostile air operations anywhere near Turkey's borders. Cutting-edge radar systems. The heart of the SEPR's success lies in its radar technology. Developed by Aselsan, the system employs active electronically scanned array, or ASA radars, with phased array capabilities. This provides 360-degree coverage for situational awareness, the ability to track hundreds of targets simultaneously, detection of low-altitude terrain-hugging cruise missiles, early warning for high-altitude hypersonic threats. Unlike older mechanically scanned radars, the SEPR's ASA system can rapidly shift its beam to lock onto multiple fast-moving targets in different sectors. This makes it extremely resistant to saturation attacks, where dozens of missiles or drones are launched at once to overwhelm defenses. Missile Guidance and Counter-Countermeasures The Seeper Block III Interceptor missile is a high-performance, solid fuel design with several guidance phases. Inertial Navigation System, or INS, for initial trajectory control. GPS updates to refine mid-course accuracy. Active Radar Seeker for terminal phase tracking and kill. This combination allows the missile to maintain precision even in electronic warfare environments. It features anti-jamming systems, encrypted data links, and algorithms to counter deception tactics, such as false target generation. Its proximity fuse detonates the fragmentation warhead at the optimal distance, producing a lethal blast radius capable of destroying both large aircraft and small maneuverable drones. Propulsion and High Altitude Engagement the missile's multi-pulse solid-fuel rocket motor allows rapid acceleration followed by sustained thrust, enabling engagements at very high altitudes. 
this capability is critical for intercepting ballistic missiles during their terminal descent or mid-course phase, a challenge that requires speed, altitude, and precision. The Cyper Block 3 can also engage targets traveling at hypersonic speeds, a category of threat that many current systems struggle against. Integration in a multi-layered shield. Cyper is not a standalone weapon. It's the top layer in a multi-tiered national air defense network that includes Hisar A, short-range defense against drones and helicopters. Hisar O, medium-range defense against aircraft and missiles. Cyper Block 1 and 2, long-range defense for strategic targets. Cyper Block 3, ultra-long range and high-altitude engagements. This integration ensures that threats are detected early, tracked continuously, and engaged by multiple layers before they can inflict damage. Geopolitical shockwaves. The unveiling of Cyper Block 3 has generated serious concern in Western capitals. NATO has long been wary of Turkey's purchase of the S-400, which already complicated Alliance air defense integration. Now, Turkey has developed a system that not only matches, but outperforms the S-400 in range, and it did so using indigenous technology. This raises two major concerns for the West. Strategic autonomy. Turkey is no longer dependent on Western suppliers, making it harder for NATO to exert political leverage. Export potential. Countries in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East may see Cyper Block 3 as a cost-effective alternative to Western or Russian systems, expanding Turkey's influence. Potential future upgrades. Military analysts expect that Cyper could evolve further, with possible upgrades including directed energy weapons for drone swarms, extended range variants beyond 500 kilometers, integration with space-based early warning satellites, enhanced anti-hypersonic missile interceptors. Given the pace of Turkey's recent technological progress, these developments may arrive sooner than many expect. Conclusion The Cyper Block 3 represents more than just a leap in missile defense. It is the embodiment of Turkey's transformation from a defense importer to a global producer of advanced military technology. By surpassing the range of the S-400, Turkey has proven it can challenge established military powers on their own turf. For Ankara, this is a triumph of strategy, investment, and national will. For its rivals, and even its allies, it is a reminder that the global balance of power is shifting, and Turkey intends to be one of the nations shaping the future of warfare.